Hey guys, what's been up? I'm here to do a beautiful collective reading for you all for this Aries new moon that's coming up. Let me just see if I'm shuffling it right. I think I am. So let's get in. Hey guys, how are y'all doing? What's been going on? Hey Sunny. Hi Muktika. What's up? How are you guys? Hey Tara. Welcome, welcome guys. What's going on? We have this beautiful airy season that we have entered right now. And it's such an adventurous time. We have Slow Load Traveler. Hi, Slow Load Traveler. Hi, uh, Vibhav Ankur. How are you doing? How are you guys? Let's dive in, my loves. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say for this beautiful AD season that we have entered. I'm getting a lot of freshness in the energy. Okay, people are... I'm getting pursuing a lot of fresh perspectives on their life right now. Like... Um, some of you might be buying new clothes, you know, getting rid of the old stuff. Um, some of you need to do that so that you can declutter. Very, very important right now for you to declutter collective. Okay, because this will help you in expanding your mind. Yes, we see the three of wands here. This is expansion of the mind, okay, for you guys. Like you guys are expanding in the way you perceive people, the way you perceive life. Um, Whatever it is that you're meant to do, it's like you are expanding your horizon when it comes to your goals, your life, um, what projects you want to, you know, go for next, what is it that you um, want to do in life, what is your life purpose, a lot of those thoughts are coming in for you and you are waiting for your ships to come in. So I'm also seeing that if you have put in work in a project, if you have put in work in a certain profession, um, you're waiting for the ships to come in where you are waiting for the profits to come in and they are coming in. Okay, so you finally see the ships coming in for you and you're very excited about it. You're very optimistic because, you know, you worked very hard on this project. You worked hard on this specific profession that you are in and now you're, you know, reaping the rewards of that. Okay, so definitely I'm seeing a lot of good uh, positive energy flowing towards the collective right now and that's because of your own positivity as well collective you know um, when we put in the work in a certain thing it's like we also need to be positive when we are waiting for the results if we are not grateful for you know wherever we are at right now even if you know someone is not doing well in their finances someone is not doing well in some area if we are not um, prepared for these changes if we are not optimistic about these changes and even if we are going through a tough time we are not smiling and we're not happy and grateful for being alive and for you know having so much abundance in life even though we are struggling though there there comes this shift in perspective that we have to be expansive in our head like because there has been a lot of fear in the collective about a lot of different things right so are you focusing on fear or are you focusing on the optimistic side of life because if you focus on fear you are going to attract more of it if you focus on you know oh my god so many things are happening and you know there's a lot of paranoia that is going on boom now you have you are st you are starting to attract these things in your life because you resonate with it that's your frequency right so universe is responding back with that energy so make sure that you are in this uplifted positive state of mind okay so that airy season you know you can glide beautifully like an eagle okay i'm getting gliding like an eagle okay so some of you love eagles or eagle is the spirit animal for us in this month okay teaching us to have a higher perspective on things let's see what's coming up so we have knight of pentacles wow okay so collective i i, I definitely see that you guys are um moving slowly and cautiously towards your goals okay even though the airy season is very like you know spontaneous and very out there right but we are taking our time we are slowing down now even though the times are speeding up we are slowing down we are becoming cautious you know yet we are optimistic right so there's this combination of being optimistic yet being cautious about what we are investing our time our money our efforts into okay and this is going to bring in a lot of efforts for you and this is going to bring in a lot more results for you as well okay because of this attitude change that you have now um, also if you are in a relationship with someone uh, if you are dealing with someone specifically I'm getting that um, 
you are definitely taking it slow. You're taking it one step at a time because you've gone through a lot of hardships in your relationship in the past and now you are being very cautious in order to understand the other person before you make the move, before you, you know, uh, advance things to the next level. You're being, you know, very, very methodical in love, in relationships, in life. You know, it's very, very methodical energy, even though Aries energy is very spontaneous, okay? So very, very interesting here. Some of you could be like, um, I'm getting a bank account, so maybe you, you guys need to like, I don't know, for one person I'm getting that someone has not even opened a bank account. So please open a bank account. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so just downloads coming in. But yeah, three of cups. What did I tell you guys? Look at that disco tech right there. And it's in the like, it's, it's outdoors. Like people are just drinking outdoors, partying with each other, you know, um, enjoying their life, enjoying their time. So I'm getting that um, collective if you're getting invited to a party. Um, it's because these people trust you like uh, if they are your friends and you're being invited to a party that you are about to go to this is because these people trust you they want you to come in okay you will definitely be meeting your soul group very very soon is also what i'm picking up so soul group energy party energy also some occasion where you can celebrate um you know and life doesn't have to be that serious is what ad season is teaching you guys okay life even though you're methodical and calculated Sometimes you have to let yourself lose. Sometimes you have to understand that you need that break from your work in order to enjoy your time with your friends, with, you know, people that, you know, you care about. You have to give them your time and space, okay? So definitely some partying energy going on here, late nights, I'm getting uh, someone singing, <laughs> singing karaoke nights, I'm, get, I'm hearing karaoke nights. So maybe some of you are going to go for that very, very soon. And we have moon. Wow. So we have moon card here. Now moon talks about. Uh, hmm. So this is definitely like partying in the night again. <laughs> you see the three of cups and the moon. Like these people are partying in the night. Literally. <laughs> yeah. So it's like uh, three of cups and moon. Um, definitely there's some. Like there's some. Okay. Don't overindulge in things that you're doing as well right like because you have been so cautious in the past collective it's like now that you are getting this opportunity to go out you are going all out with it okay i'm getting that okay and that's because you're enjoying your time so
okay i hope i'm audible now so i'll continue my reading here so yeah there could be some definite uh, mistrust of your own feelings okay like you're not able to trust your own feelings here and um that's because you've been through something very heavy in the past which is why it has made you a little bit cautious towards others towards you know different um situations okay so spirit is saying that take your time do not have you do not you do not have to rush okay and also with the work like i'm also seeing that since you have been through these things you're focusing completely on your work so you don't have to socialize so you don't have to do these things and um i'm also seeing work from home so some of you will be like you know starting your work from home or you need to do that okay you need to um start working on those ideas that will bring you money um from your home that will also help you in the future okay um also money while you're traveling so if possible you know look for um uh, because we're not meant to be in this 9 to 5 guys i don't know like if you guys believe in the same things but honestly as a collective we are not meant to be in this 9 to 5 where we are constantly struggling to make ends meet you know to get some money and get something so that we can you know stabilize ourselves we are not meant to do that i don't know if you guys believe in it or not but trust me like the that type of world where we were doing these things it needs to end otherwise and that is the reason why we are having so many fears so that we can conquer them by um you know uh innovating certain new ideas for ourselves okay so i'm definitely seeing collective meeting up new people um you know sharing their ideas deep ideas okay deep conversations with other people eventually and once you open up about these deep ideas and concepts that you have um <clears throat> it will help you to uh, understand that you're not alone that there are other people who also think like you there are other people who uh, also care about the things that you care about okay sometimes we we can feel lonely within our own perspective and our own thoughts and think that nobody else thinks like us like us but that's not true okay so some of you are getting out of that fear of uh, being open towards others being emotionally vulnerable towards others okay you are you are finally releasing that so that you can move forward okay and we have wow we have four of wands so there are some changes coming up regarding your uh, home regarding regarding your home so maybe you could be buying a new home you could be moving from one uh, place to another it could be as another city another state another country you could be moving to a different location altogether this could also be some of you going to like acting classes i'm getting also acting classes or some of you are really like i'm getting someone uh, who's an actor who's watching this okay that's great or someone in the industry um for sure but there's there's definitely you you're bagging another project if you're a celebrity you're definitely bagging another project okay for yourself congratulations on that i love that and we have eight of pentacles yeah again work okay work so like collective i'm finally seeing that you guys are enjoying the kind of work that you do and you're finally realizing that you need to enjoy what you do if you don't then you don't want to be there anymore like you don't want to listen to anybody you don't want anybody to boss around you anymore you don't want to listen to anybody because it frustrates you it irritates you um you don't want that anymore you want life to be smooth simple where your loved ones are taken care of where you are taken care of that's all you care about and that's how deep you're going with this ad season like yes i care about the people that i love i want them to be taken care of i want my life to be stable secure you know i want everyone everyone to be happy you know and there there's a lot of deep thoughts coming in with regards to that and definitely there's some traveling on the books here for you guys i'm seeing you guys travel as well um <clears throat> and there are some life changing decisions that you're making in the ad season as well okay some life changing decisions here some of you could be moving in secret okay uh, you could be not you could not be telling your friends that you're moving from one part to another uh, one part of the country to another or whatever it may be you're keeping your moves a secret which is a good thing um like once you have manifested that move for yourself that then it's a good time to you know talk about it and to reveal certain things but until then you know try to keep it hush hush try to keep your privacy until you manifest those things for yourself okay whatever it is that you're looking for especially if you're looking for a home you're looking for you know stabilizing yourself in a business whatever it may be it's time to uh, finally figure things out for yourself in a way where your work is like 
art it's like celebration it's like every day you go to work you are enjoying yourself with your with, with your people with with your co-workers whoever it may be like you're just having fun while working whatever it is that you do okay however serious the profession is like just learn to enjoy this process so that you know you are evolving you know you are you're not stopping your evolution you know that's what i'm getting so tell me more tell me more what what changes is the are the collective expecting with this ad season we have queen of cups here wow okay Queen of Cups, hi, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, we see, I mean, I see Virgo here, I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, I see Cancer, Pisces, again, okay, wow, so Cancer, Pisces heavy here, so there's a lot of water energy coming in, even though there's a fire season that we are in, okay, so you guys, I mean, yeah look at the three girls here and then we see the three women behind this throne and we see the three best friends like this is crazy so uh three best friends here and you see how this woman even if she's sitting on the throne it's like those two goofy girlfriends behind her are enjoying her sitting on the throne and then the other one is speaking like okay can you let me sit now and this woman is like okay now you can you can sit and you can, we are clicking pictures and we are being goofy and we are being childlike and we are being fun that's what we are coming into collective like we are having fun with what we do okay so make sure like this is like this is a blessed month for you guys because you're finally realizing that you have certain trust issues from your past which you have been projecting in the present, which has been causing you to be blocked in certain things. But now you're slowly moving forward towards what it is that you truly desire, which is a life filled with independence, confidence, you know, knowing what your value is all about. And at the same time, enjoying it with the people that you love, sharing it with the people that you love. Okay. Sharing it with the people that you love and emotionally loving what you do. Wow, we have the king of wands here as well. So yes, taking leadership. Taking leadership towards um, your thought processes, your mind. Like I'm seeing you guys do a lot of research. I'm also seeing some of you hire a lawyer or uh, for certain if you're going through some legal situations, you will definitely be hiring a lawyer and this lawyer is amazing at what he does. Okay, he's amazing. So if you're hiring a lawyer, uh, if this person is a Gemini Libra Aquarius they are amazing they are like spot on with what they do so that's amazing <clears throat> and yeah I'm, I'm definitely seeing you guys collective uh, try out a lot of different things for yourself this month okay try out a lot of different things read a lot of different books I'm getting like intellectual knowledge some of you could be like buying audiobooks where you're just sitting and you know just listening to certain information and knowledge and loving and enjoying the the process of learning about life learning about different subjects whatever it is that you know fulfills you whatever it is that you are intrigued by i'm seeing you guys definitely you know this guy has like a cigar in his mouth like yeah get me those books right here i want to read them right now <laughs> that's the attitude like yeah get, bring me those books okay i want to read them right um, so definitely I see that also where you guys as a collective are expanding your mind right now, expanding your emotional knowledge uh, about yourselves, okay, about yourselves, about what you really um, are fond of in life, okay. So you are finally recognizing the throne you are meant to sit on, but not in a way where you are leading others, but where you are taking turns in leading each other, okay. We are finally taking turns to lead each other okay and that is how we are going to collaborate in the future we cannot just uh, have that hierarchy system where one person is on top and everybody is getting like you know uh, the short end of the stick beneath that person no 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 more pyramids i'm so sorry no more pyramids that's what i'm seeing here so a lot of people are going to wake up okay some people are going to leave their jobs because they're not happy because you know it just seems like a struggle like oh my god you know suddenly the boss just calls and uh, the boss is really like you know pissed off and there are people gossiping about you you are finally realizing that you need to leave this hell this hell alone like literally uh, someone is going through hell in their workspace i'm getting so you are finally recognizing that you need to leave that space alone okay that's very very interesting here so let's get one final card and then we'll get an advice for you guys okay 
I hope you're enjoying this. Let's see. Yeah, five of swords. Yeah, you're going to win no matter what. Okay, no matter what. Now, again, with the collective reading, I'm also seeing there could be some news about war or something uh, to do with like something uh, a little bit fearful. That again, collective, you know, fear is all around you. But are you giving your energy to that fear? Or are you giving your energy to your highest timeline for yourself? What is your highest vision for your life? Are you giving that your time and energy and your thoughts and your emotions? Or are you giving these fearful thoughts and this fearful timeline that, you know, oh my God, the world is going to waste. Um, you know, we are on World War Three, and now we're going to like, you know, have missiles all over us and whatever, whatever, right? Like there's just so many assumptions that we make in our head about the fears that we have. And now's the time to like literally release those things okay because you will definitely hear these things you will see the some 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 like you know disaster happen some problem happen you will see that happen but how are you reacting to it how are you responding are you reacting to it or are you responding to it that's a big question for the collective okay in any season like are you re reacting or are you responding with maturity with with this level of um understanding that no matter what, life is going to go on. There are going to be problems. If I can help, I will. But I'm not. if I'm not in that timeline, I have to focus on my life. I have to focus on my growth. I have to focus on what brings me joy, what brings me whatever it is that I want. Right? So definitely, like, um, you have to be very clever with what it is that you're giving your mind, your attention to, because we have entered the age of Aquarius, which is the age of air, which is the age of mentalism. It's the age of your mind. Your mind is taking over now. Even the currency that we use is turning into etheric currency. It's 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 all leveling up. So since we are evolving, my, my name, my brand name, Revolution, since we are evolving, why not understand that this is a process that we have to go through and we have to master our fears. We have to master ourselves, right? And our intellect and our thoughts. That is very, very important. Okay. Our thoughts, are they in the right place or are we just paranoid because we are being told and we are being fed that we are paranoid. Okay. So yeah, making decisions with your head rather than your heart, but also having your heart in balance is very, very important. It's going to be important in AD season as well. I think that was the last card, but yeah, two of pentacles. Try not to juggle too much collective. Um, some of you are joining dance classes. Some of you are working out. I see you working out. Some of you could be into basketball or some of you could start playing basketball uh, next month. Okay, I'm seeing tennis as well. I'm seeing a lot of sports. Okay. Some of you could be watching like a ballerina show on Netflix or something like that. That's interesting. So many. I'm, I'm channeling so much today. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. All right. So let's get uh, a nice advice for you guys. What, what it is that, you know, you should focus on. Okay. How should you surrender so that you are in the best space within the AD season. Okay. Let's get, a, let's get an advice for you. It's great to see you live. Thank you. The stunning Rishi. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome guys. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Also guys, if you would like to book a personal reading, all the details are given in my Instagram bio as well as in the description box on my YouTube. So you can definitely check it out. Now let's get an advice card or let's get a few advice cards for you guys. I love you all so much by the way. You guys make me who I am. Um, I'm not a person that is like, you know, constantly live and constantly doing things but whenever i come i make sure that you know i'm i'm bringing in content that is valuable and that is worth it right so yeah that's what even you guys are coming into within the next season okay you are finally recognizing your value your worth what is your net worth and your net worth is increasing because you're thinking about that because you're not thinking about the negative because you're not thinking about the failures you're thinking about the success the innovation the new things boom now that comes to you okay because you thought it you made the effort to think it, okay? Just about thoughts. It's right. It's all right here, okay? Uh, something about Pisces. Uh, we we do have heavy Pisces here. We have Cancer here. Um, this is just like a collective spread, and 
with your energies being present here it's definitely telling me that you guys are definitely going to be affected a lot okay and taurus with taurus or no um you are a taurus right so taurians have uranus right now in their sign okay this is a timeless reading whenever you watch this this may relate with you but um i'm getting that taurians are affected due to uranus being in their sign which is uranus is a planet of eccentricity it's a planet of sudden changes and surprises so you might be going through these changes in your personal life as well where you are planning to transform yourself you are planning to go the other route right and with you being a pisces sabhi loop it's like you are also a mutable sign so uh, currently i think we have neptune in pisces i still have to check the charts but i think that there are some uh, tra uh, transits in pisces we just completed the pisces season as well okay yeah wow surrender to silence uh collective some of you are definitely coming out of this period of silence is what i'm getting okay in quiet meditation or contemplation let go and enter the stillness within silence can heal and replenish you so i'm getting collective you have spent a lot of time in silence you have discovered your ideas your goals and if you haven't it's time to meditate so that you can write down your thoughts write down your ideas that you have for your future be it you know through uh, about what you want to bring into the world what are your ideas about what you want to do right right so yeah i'm not able to speak for some reasons quite weird so let's see what else what else for the collective what else for the collective here what do they need to surrender right now so you're finally surrendering the silence you are finally ready to get out you're ready to explore you're ready to um, finally experience the newness with this aries season surrender obsessive thinking ooh what is that collective hmm so collective when you were like in your hermit mode when you were silent within yourself i'm seeing you kind of be very obsessive about um, someone specific someone now this could have been someone who rejected you someone who did not um, give you the energy that you were looking for so you could have obsessed a little bit about it about it which is what causes you to stay detached from people now because you know there could have been an obsession at one point uh, it says if you are obsessing about a person or situation turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem okay so if you are obsessing about a certain person or certain someone uh and i'm also getting like uh, someone is pulling at you okay so you could be seeing this person in your dreams or this person could be seeing you in your dreams especially if you guys are on in a long distance or you don't live near each other or whatever so spirit is like uh, try to detach from that okay because otherwise this person could pull pull thing like pull your energy towards them and it will make you obsessed towards them right because you because they are obsessing towards you so so try to detach cut cords as much as possible so that you can live your own life okay and not get like blown away by this person's emotions and what they want right yeah so surrender the temptation i'm getting with the apple as well start eating apples guys an apple a day keeps a disaster away <laughs> an apple a day keeps a disaster away guys literally so start eating apples so that you are taking care of your health as well uh, literally but apart from that some dietary changes are also required i'm also getting that and also try to like uh, reduce the social media a little bit and experience life that's what i'm getting okay for you guys experience life and reduce the scrolling reduce the um, amount of time you're spending on you know social networks and things like that and try to experience okay as much as possible so let's see what else for you guys surrender to miracles i mean what else do you want me to say guys so once you surrender this obsessive thinking towards another person you are finally open and receptive to miracles coming into your life okay playful energy you are play you are playful with others you are you are enjoying your time you are going out you are uh, exchanging ideas you are innovating you are exploring life right it says be open to miracles occurring in your life feel and know that these events are real let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen okay so it's a very miraculous month for you you some of you could literally uh, experience miracles next month but you need to believe in it you need to trust it you need to have faith within the miracles that is going to occur in your life you know it's not just about other miracles occurring in your life you yourself are a miracle 
you yourself are a miracle the way you are in this world the way you don't know things since your childhood the way you grow up you spend so many beautiful memories with people that you love you have so much abundance that you can experience in this on this planet earth there's just so much to explore that you are a miracle how did you come here who are you right you are a miracle that's the answer you are a miracle okay that could be your affirmation for the month of april every morning you wake up and every night before you go to bed say this because that is when your subconscious mind is active you say i am the miracle i am a miracle okay and trust me once you believe it once you say it you will attract miracles left right and center from all directions from all archangels from all from the source itself okay you are a miracle yes kanu exactly you are the miracle okay collective wow so yes release all the baggage release all the problems that you had accumulated okay surrender any form of denial that you have towards your own emotions your own feelings cherish your feelings nourish your feelings express your feelings okay be creative with your feelings let them come out in your work let them come out in your art okay let them flow through you be the dolphins okay dolphins you are the miracle all right so this is what i have for you collective i mean what a magical spread right here i'm sure you guys are uplifted i'm sure you guys loved it um thank you so much for coming in i will be closing down the video but you can definitely watch the replay of this on my youtube as well in case you have missed out on a, on the reading and on instagram as well all right my love so thank you so much and i'm going to shut this peace my loves <laughs>